Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to the video. Welcome to my garage. In this video, we're going to be making a nice basic exhaust system for Ratchet. Now, as I stated in the previous video, I'm going to build the engine for Ratchet here in, in two steps. The first step is going to be basically get it going. The second step, once the chassis and everything is vetted out and, and I'm good with all that, the second step, I'm going to make the engine nicer, more power, put a turbo on it, really focus in more on the engine. But for the first step here, I just need to get it up and going. It's going to be naturally aspirated, so nothing fancy, trying to keep it simple. And I don't want to waste a lot of time on the exhaust, being that this is going to be temporary. So what I'm doing here is I've just taken the factory exhaust manifolds, which I'm not proud of doing that, but that saves me a boatload of time. And they're not horrible manifolds. They're not great, but they're not they're not horrible. And I'm basically just going to cut some pipes and... Uh, weld them up to a little glass pack here. This will be loud and crude, but it'll work. It'll work for the meantime. So I already did this side, but I did not do this side yet. So let me show you what parts I've got to work with, and then we will jump right into it. So what I have is I'm starting with the exhaust manifolds that came on the J35. These are the ones that I had on it when I got it from the junkyard. And then I've made a little bracket here that is what's going to bolt onto the manifold. You can see here I have the uh, the glass pack and then I have two. For each side I have two pre-bent 180 degrees and I'll just use these. I'll chop them up for my 90s and the uh, 180s and, and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do now is I've already got the glass pack mounted here. The What I did is I mocked up this glass pack and that glass pack. I did those at the same time so that I could make sure that they were at the same angle and the same distance and just, you know, get them as identical to each other as much as possible. Alright, now I've made some rough cuts just to kind of get me in the general direction. There are, uh, this head is in a little bit slightly different position and although the, uh, all the mounting flanges and all that on these manifolds are the same, their angles are a little bit different. So this will be like not a carbon copy of, of the other side, but it'll be close. But at this point, it just becomes a game, a slow game of putting pieces in place and slowly taking pie cuts out of them to get yourself closer to meeting up. And um, it's, it's kind of weird because it's kind of fun and it's kind of a pain in the butt all at the same time. But my only recommendation is take your time, make small cuts so that you can work yourself up to it if you cut too much and you've got to weld in a little straight piece, that's not the end of the world. And eventually, you should get to where you need to be.
All right, so because the angle here was more extreme than on the other side, what I did is I tacked this piece in place, and then I just, what I do is I just cut a whole bunch of pie cuts with a couple of different angles, so I've got kind of something to work with. And then I just start piecing things together. You can see I already tacked on this piece, this piece, and this piece. This piece and this piece are just held in place with the magnets. I think I've got what I need here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tack this one up and then clean that up and then I'll double check this one. I wanna make sure that this tube is far enough off the chassis here that that won't be a problem. If that's good, I'll tack this. Then before I before I tack this, I'm gonna weld all this up solid because there's, there's gonna be a lot more welding on this side than on the other side because of the pie cuts. So this is all gonna shrink and twist a little bit. So I'll weld all this up, bolt it back in place, make sure everything's good, and if everything's good, then I'll tack this, take it back off, and solid weld that. And then uh, we'll bolt this on and take a look at it. All right, here she is. Here is our simple little header. Um, it actually does not look very good. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to highlight work that I do that's not really good. But um, MIG welding all these little pie pieces in. I, th I think this pipe is 16 gauge. This is actually probably going to be a pretty loud exhaust. But either way, it'll get us what we need for now. Let's bolt it on and make sure that it still fits. All right, here we have our finished product. The glass pack is sitting on its stand, which is welded to the chassis. Comes around here, this side I've got all these pie cuts in here. I had to do that because I couldn't get, I couldn't get the, all the turns done with these pre-bent 90s, because in here, this flange was at a tighter angle than on the other side. So I used what I could, but once I got to there, I just had to I had to come up this way and then go back this way so I did it with pie cuts which is not the most beautiful thing in the world but it it will work it looks kind of cool but it, it just doesn't look beautiful probably going to have to do something about the limiting strap here but I do plan to wrap these though and I'm I'm actually thinking that once they're wrapped if the strap bumps into them it won't really be a problem I just still have to weld a bung on here for the O2 sensor as well and we got the other side here, same deal. The pipes run in roughly the same location. Either way, they're both kind of bulldog exhaust because they utilize the 
the stock manifold and then they just come from there but they are compact they will get the job done they're definitely strong very strong I mean you could stand on them no problem when I do phase two and I actually build an exhaust with the turbo I think I will try and make the exhaust really nice I'll, I'll purchase some stainless steel pipe and I'll TIG weld it and all that I think that'll be a pretty cool project because I've actually never done that anytime I've done exhausts it's like this where I'm just using cheap steel pipe and I'm MIG welding it and it just it's totally effective but it doesn't it doesn't catch your eye it's not artistic or anything like that so I'm kind of looking forward to doing that on phase two but for now these will work really well for uh, for phase one or stage one you whatever you want to call it of the engine so that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope it's either helping you with whatever you're working on or just giving you some temporary enter entertainment or whatever. So hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Let's go see what the dogs are doing when they're not running around out in the garage with me. Wow, are you being lazy, huh? You could have been out there with me, but you're just chilling on the couch here Woo. I guess that's why they call it the dog's life Doug Doug injured himself yesterday running around with Kevin so I had to give him some anti-inflammatories and now he's just kinda he's just kinda chilling a little bit relaxing <laughs>